The reason we actually picked the name at the start is because there was a guy who did like, he has this like really grandiose voice where he'll be like, One Direction! And we were like, that sounds good, that guy will say that nice. And that was where we picked the band name from. And now we're everywhere and not together anymore. And now we're many directions, but I don't think it sounds quite as good. What's up GQ, I'm Liam Payne and these are my essentials. Item number one. I would go for having a good Bluetooth speaker because I feel like when I get up in the morning, I need music. I mean, I don't get up straight away and put Biggie on in the morning. That's not really what I do, but uh, I, I, you know, I love hip hop music and there's some really great tunes out there at the moment. I don't know actually, you know, where the hell this one came from. Where did we get this speaker? When you go to like these different award shows and stuff, you get like goodie bags and there's always a Bluetooth speaker in the bag. So I'm like, yeah, great. There's Bluetooth speakers everywhere. It's fantastic. So if we ever lose one, we'll have to just make sure we go to some sort of fancy party. Can we schedule a fancy party somewhere? <laughs> so this is my spray. So you smell nice. I think it's important that you always smell nice. This is part of human nature and we should always take care of ourselves. Um, but this is my, uh, my girlfriend's favorite smell on me, which I went through a thing where I had like an array of, of different smells, but she was like, you yeah, are not wearing the same one as you were before. She likes me to smell the same, so I have to make sure I smell the same, otherwise I get a funny look. <laughs> I just like having a little smell around with me because I mean, I, I meet a lot of people every day and if I'm having a tough day, at least they can't smell the real me. <laughs> Gotta be my mouth there. It tastes as good as it smells. Let's say that. This is like my most recent little passion that I have. This is actually my drawing book where I've started sketching a little bit. I recently got really into art. I found out I was all right at it, so I thought I might make a little bit of a go of doing things, but I just, I've only really just started, so I've done one drawing of this building that I did so far. This is actually all of my pencil. This is like a little travel pencil kit, which I found out that I've lost my pencil sharpener, which in Spanish is un seca puntas, for anybody who's listening. And yeah, so that's gone missing, so I'm gonna have to have a little, little hunt round for that, because that is also essential. If you want to draw, you got to have a sharp pencil. But when I'm not drawing, I use the camera and I go around and I take pictures of things that I want to draw. I was watching David Hockney the other day on a, 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 an art documentary that he did. And he goes out to like a woods and he'll look at the woods and then he'll go back home and he'll go, right, what do I remember the most? And he'll start with like, well, there was that tree over there and he'll draw that tree. And remember what was left of the tree? Oh yeah, there was that road bit there. And then he just draws it from memory. But I, I'm way too insane to do any of that. But on planes or, you know, when I'm traveling and I've got time in a hotel, I'll draw the view out the window or something different. So yeah, I like sketching. So that's another little hobby that I have. Next! Always have a nice pair of trainers because they finish off, you know, any outfit really. In English, which is trainers, because apparently people sneak around in the more in America and people train in them in the UK. So these are a the nice lovely pair of New Balance that I picked up the other day, which are super cool. And then I have these, I still have these on my desk. Sorry, I didn't want to put my feet on your desk, but I thought it was worth it. I used to hate wearing color when I was younger. I remember my first meeting with a stylist I had, and I didn't really know what the hell to do, because it's like, I don't know much about clothes. I wear what is around, and that's what I kind of did. And then it, I went for a real point of wearing loads of colors. And then now I've kind of settled out to these kind of nudes, and, and I don't know, these little flashes of color, which is quite nice uh, at the moment. But yeah, I don't know. I think you just get more comfortable wearing what you're wearing as time goes by, and as you know, you age with fashion. It's not what it looks like. This is actually a vocal steamer. It's called Dr. Nelson's Improved Inhaler. Uh, and I've smashed a bunch of these, so now we have loads. When you wake up in the morning and you first talk, you're like, oh, I like it. You have to get rid of that as quick as possible when you're singing. I mean, I did a show the other day for Good Morning America and I was up at three in the morning, exercising my voice to sing at like six. So I didn't know when I got into doing this, actually, it was gonna be like really, really early morning. So I used to think seven o'clock was early for school. It works by, you put hot boiling water into about here. If you put it in too high, then you suck in boiling water, which has happened many times. And you just kind of inhale the steam and then blow it back out and it just kind of clears everything up and you feel like, ah, by the end of it. <laughs> I can't wait to show him my peanut. <laughs> Bring on the peanut, actually, while we're here. We've dived in too deep at this point. It is for shaving use. Very well named, cordless, just to keep the beard trim because sometimes I look like I don't even know what with the beard. And it really adds to your face. Like I feel like I lose weight when I shave my face, which also adds to this bit, which is gym gear. You always have good gym gear with you. We started doing yoga recently, uh, which is quite funny in the mornings, which we haven't done for a while. I think we laughed more than we were supposed to at the yoga, but I think it added, there should be a form of laughing yoga where you go in and there's like someone who tells jokes whilst you do certain poses. And when you laugh, it adds to your ab work. You're like laughing, it hurts. And then you're like, oh, I can't really hold this pose anymore. But it's fun, like that should be a thing. Like we have hot yoga. Why don't you open Liam's laughing yoga? Liam's laughing yoga. 
Laughing Yog. Beckham's always a good one to look at for workout gear. He really stars it out with the little towel addition and the backwards hat. You see him like rolling through LA when he's been to the gym, like, oh, I've been to the gym. Cool. He's a cool guy. That was obviously a really bad impression of David Beckham, but there you go. That's what we have here is gym gear. Boom, hair wax. Always need a bit of hair wax. I'm actually growing my hair out at the moment. Um, so the wax changes as you go, really, I guess. When it's like longer, you need a more slicker wax. It's a bit more harder because I've got shorter hair at the moment. But I'm going for that awkward grow out stage. It's a tough place to be. If you shave your head, remember you do grow it back. It's, you have to go through that awkward stage of like, where it's long on parts where it's not supposed to be and short on other parts where you don't want it to be. It happens to me all the time. Hair wax, definitely an, an essential. One of my essentials is chamomile tea. So when you finish, come off the stage, you get this little thing where the adrenaline like kind of comes out of your body as you as you settle back into normal life. And you have to drink some of this to sleep because you're like way too excited about life. It actually has a thing in the tea that makes you uh, uh, battle against like anxiety, which is quite nice. It's a good little tip. And also another one for vocals, ginger shots. It's also really healthy for you but it's good for getting your, once again, throat ready to sing in the morning if you've got an early show or you're feeling something, a bit of a cold or under the weather. Tea, ginger, essentials. Major essential. Passports, you need them. If you're gonna go places, they won't let you in. Doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, and they always have really awkward pictures in them. But I can't show you that. There's a passport. And then obviously, when you've used your passport and you've gotten on your lovely journey to places, sunnies, you know. Keep your eyes shielded from the sun and try and look cool, as cool as you can. I'm terrible for not traveling with cases for sunglasses. I get a lot of battered pairs of sunglasses as well that get like sat on. It's always awkward when you sit on your sunglasses and it's one of the worst things in life. You go, ah. So uh, don't sit on your sunglasses, travel with a case. I can actually see that these have been sat on the more I talk about it and I need to now bend the nose bits back in place. I'm good at repairing sunglasses though, because I've broken a lot of them. So, I mean, some of them are beyond repair, but these ones will uh, be fixable somehow. Uh, but yeah, good pair of sunglasses, indoor, outdoor, always nice. Well, those are my top 10 essentials. Thank you for watching. Uh, you know, if you feel like it now, you can take up various hobbies like drawing or maybe, you know, whack a Bluetooth speaker in your bag, just to have a bit of vibe. But there you are, those are mine. <laughs>